Hi everyone and welcome back. Today on Move Over Martha we're going to be making this really cute Halloween blinged out shirt. These are not Swarovskis. They are knockoffs but they are equally as sparkly. So if you want to see how to do it stay tuned and we're going to get started shortly. Alright so let's go over the supplies you need for the project. You need some transfer paper. You need some beeswax. This here, my husband is a jeweler, so he gave this to me, so I'm not exactly sure where you could buy something like this. Um, maybe at Michael's. I, I've never looked for it because he's always had it, so he's just given me some. Like You just need a little piece. If you go to the candle section, they sell like a sheet of like honeycombed beeswax, and that would probably work too if you broke a piece off and formed it into a shape. I just form it into like a point. And then it's easy to pick up the rhinestones. You can work a lot quicker. I was doing some Girl Scout shirts and they said like my troop number on it. And my husband was helping me make them. And he had the beeswax and I didn't. And he was like cranking out like three shirts to my one. So I quickly learned how to use the beeswax and got a piece. And it makes all the difference. You can go a lot faster. So you need that transfer tape, beeswax, some rhinestones. I have some orange because my project is a Halloween project. I got the rhinestones and the transfer tape on Etsy. I just typed in like supplies and then I typed in like hot fix rhinestones and this site came up called Rhinestone Hues and I just ordered it from them. It came pretty quick. Uh, you know, shipping wasn't outrageous, so I just decided to go with them. I ordered some other colors for other projects that I might be working on. Um, you need an image. When you print your image out, you need to flip, reverse it, because you're going to do all your rhinestones on this with this transfer tape, and then you're going to flip it over, so when it goes onto the shirt, it's going to read correctly. Next, you need just like a regular household iron, and then I like to use this, um little heat setting tool for the rhinestones. I originally bought this tulip one and the only reason why I'm showing it and the only reason why I've kept it is that I can show everybody this tool and tell them not to buy it. It never worked for me. It never really got hot. It didn't stay hot. So I'm not a big fan of that. I bought this um, iRock by Imagines and Kathy Orta who I talk about like frequently in my videos. If no one's checking out her YouTube channel, you really need to. She swears by this iRock, so I'm gonna try this one and see how I do with it. I haven't used it, so I, I'm this is first trial and error today. So you need a scissor to cut off your little piece, and then I'm doing the t-shirt, so you obviously need a t-shirt, but you could do a tote bag, whatever your your design is, and you just print it out. You can even do an uh, image, like if you wanted to do a pumpkin or a flip-flop, no matter what it is, you can do anything, anything you can print out and just print it in the flip mirror image. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my transfer paper. I'm going to tape it down, get ready to go, put my camera on a tripod, and then I will show you how to do this. Okay, so I have my transfer paper taped to my computer printout paper, and I'm going, it's, the sticky side is facing up, so that's how the rhinestones are going to stick down. In the past, I have reused this transfer paper over and over, because it's really sticky, and it just needs to be slightly sticky so that the rhinestones stay. So if you save the backing, you can just re-stick it to the backing and then use it over again. So you're going to take your rhinestones and you're going to start to line them up. It doesn't matter that your um, wording is bigger because you're just using it as a template. And you're going to put them with the hot fix side up. And you're just going to keep lining it up, following along. And then occasionally, like patting them down, maybe you need to slide it up a little bit and pat it down so it's sticking to the tape, the paper. And you just follow along. Usually, I either stay on the inside or the outside of the design so that the rhinestones are all staying kind of in sync 
then if you put one up at the top and one down at the bottom, just stay either on the edge or on the top edge to line them up. So you just continue doing that throughout the whole pattern. If you were doing a thicker pattern, you would just start another row going around and then move on to the next letter and so on and so forth. So I'm going to finish my pattern and then I'm going to go get my t-shirt and we're going to iron it on and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I've aligned my clear transfer paper. I have actually pulled this off two or three times and none of the rhinestones fell off of it. So it is very sticky. It's a good quality. I just wanted it to be lined up really well. The nice thing about it being clear is you can totally see if it's centered, if it's crooked, and whatnot. So then I take my household iron and I'm going to iron on this whole thing. Once I peel it back and I realize that every rhinestone has been stuck, I am going to peel it off. And then what I do is I just individually go and heat set each little rhinestone with this eye rock. Just because um, sometimes I've done hot fix stones and they have come off in the wash. If I forgot and I threw the shirt in the dryer, it's fallen off. The lady who sold the rhinestone, she says they are very good quality. She uses them for her kids. Um, gymnastics and stuff like that that she's washed them and she hasn't had any falling off so I'm very hopeful but sometimes if I want it to stay on and I want it to to really stick I will um, use a glue method and I'll show you in just a minute how I do that so let me go ahead and iron this on and then I'm just gonna take the iron and I'm gonna run it along all the stones, hopefully all of them are getting stuck. And then once that's situated, you start to peel it back. Use the iron to dry, no water. So then I'm going to carefully peel back. Sorry if I'm getting out of frame and stuff. It's hard to pull it back and hold the camera. But what you're going to do is you're going to pull it back and you're going to try to see that none of the rhinestones are sticking to the paper still. That they're coming off and staying on the shirt. So, so far, so good. Sorry, it's a little wobbly. But, I think so far, so good. Alright, I'm going to finish pulling that off, then I'll show you the I rock and then I'll show you the syringe and all that that I use to um, glue it down. I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is finished. I pulled the transfer tape off and none of the rhinestones stuck, which leads me to believe that it is good quality. It stuck, the hot fix must be really sticky because it stuck down to it. So here it is finished. What you can do now is take your eye rock and heat set each stone individually. I just like to do that because sometimes the stones, some are higher and lower. They're all the same um, size in, I guess, width or circumference but sometimes they're higher and lower so this way when the iron hits it some of them are too low and they don't get um, heated with the iron so then I like to just go in with this little eye rock just to kind of heat set each little stone separately you don't have to do that but I like to just do it this way when I put it in the wash each one of them has more of a chance of staying on the shirt um, you shouldn't dry the shirt in the dryer but wash it like cold water, not hot. And um, there you have it. Now, if you don't have hot fix and you only have regular rhinestones, you can use this method. I do like this method. It does stick on. This E6000 glue is very, very strong. They also have one, I think it's called Goop, and it's kind of similar to this. They smell really bad, so use a ventilated area. But I use this syringe that doesn't have a sharp on the end of it, and I just 
put this E6000 inside of this. You won't be able to use this syringe afterwards because it'll be all dried up inside of it. So this is like a one-time use thing. You can go to like the pharmacy and see if they have it. I think I got this maybe from a medical supply place. And it's nice because the hole on the end is somewhat, it's not big and it's not small. So when it comes out, it's a nice even flow. So I fill up the syringe and then I go in here. These I just set on here for demonstration purposes. What you do is you let a little glue out a little at a time and then you just run it along the rhinestones and what I do is I do it this way on the shirt and so as I'm gluing it I'm laying some down so I put a little glue lay some down put a little more glue lay it down and I kind of roll it down and then it sticks so once I have it all done I you know pat it all down make sure all the stones are done you have to do it a little at a time because that glue dries really really quickly so just do little sections at a time and then when you peel it off it should be stuck and then once you wash that shirt the stones should not fall off don't use it with hot fix stones only use it if you have rhinestones that don't have any glue on the back of them and um a lot of people use them for like ice skating outfits and roller skating outfits because it stays on and it doesn't um, wear off when they're moving and it's like on the spandex fabric. So there you have the rhinestone shirt. I hope everyone's going to have a happy and safe Halloween and check back. We might have another Halloween craft coming up. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great night.